What's up everybody, today we're going to talk about Phoenix by Cyrus Magic. The cool thing about Cyrus Magic is his logo. As you can see here, it says Cyrus Magic. Turned upside down, it'll also say Cyrus Magic. So what is Phoenix? Phoenix is a card trick by Cyrus Magic, which is a torn and reborn card routine. So a brief overview of the trick. Spectator picks a card, they then rip up the card, put the card pieces on top of the deck, it's then set on fire, and it's then transformed into their chosen card with the corner ripped off. And the kicker is, you give the spectator a corner of the card, and once that fire is put out by yourself hitting it, they can take that card, and the corner fits exactly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to perform a little trick with fire. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a card picked, and that one there, so the two of clubs. And what we're going to do is take the two of clubs, like so. I'm just going to fold it up, like this. It's folded in half and then half again. I'm just going to rip it up, like so and into smaller pieces, and then there. What I'm gonna do, just put them pieces on top, and get a special formula, which is dragon's blood. Just gonna put a couple of drops of dragon's blood on there. That should do. Put that down there. And now, just gonna get a match. You can also use a lighter, but I think matches are just more, more effective. So, just set that alight. As you can see, the chosen cards are now on fire. Bang! It's now chosen. Two of clubs. So how much does it cost? I do believe it's roughly £30. I know that Cyrus is creating a new website which is going to have products and stuff on there. And it's also available on the Premium Magic Store website. And there's a link in the description below for that. So what do you get with the magic trick? It's in this packet here. And you get the, the foot arm with Cyrus Magic, the Phoenix, and tells you what it is. And then when you go inside the packet, Mine came with eight cards, which are the gimmick for the actual magic trick itself. You can purchase it with the red or the blue rider back, I believe. When I, when I bought the trick at Blackpool, there's an option to get either of those, but it doesn't make any difference which one you get. It's based on what deck of cards you normally use as a worker. So that's the playing cards you get with it. You also get this little bottle here, which you need to put in the secret ingredients. And when you follow the instructions and go through the video and stuff like that, it tells you what you need to use in here. And this is what you use to set the card alight. So what is the routine or trick that you can do with it? When at Blackpool I filmed Cyrus doing the routine and it's in the Blackpool vlog and it's also a separate video so if you have a look up here there'll be a link to it as well and also in description there'll be a link so essentially the way that he performed it you can do it that way or you can do a whole different variety of different things so when I said the brief description that's where you do it force a card they rip it up they have one piece of the card left over put the the ripped up card on the deck set it alight bang disappears and then their chosen card that they picked the corner fits exactly right and it's just like a phoenix being reborn in the fire does it come with instructions yes there's a link to a online video which you can watch it's on a password protected link so obviously you go on there you can watch the video and it's got the full instructions of how the tricks performed and how to perform it on there so this is the instructional card that you get and then on the back it's got the link to the the video itself and the password the video in total is just over half an hour and it goes through the information of how to create the gimmicks and how to perform it and all the other things rough like that really good video is just Cyrus sat down in front of a close-up mat showing you how to do everything is it easy to perform yes super super easy the only thing that you need to do is force a card on the spectator so for example you can do an easy cross cut so the top card here is a queen of clubs all you need to do is put the chosen card that you want to force on the top put the deck on the floor get the spectator to cut and then cross you talk to them about different things and you say right you cut to this card and that's their chosen card. That's a super, super easy way to force a card. Once you force the card, you can go in the routine and do things like that. You get them to rip up the card, and then you put the deck down, put the ripped up bits on there, give the spectator one of the corners off the ripped up decks, set it alight, Bob's your uncle. So where can the magic be used? It can be used pretty much wherever you want, as long as there's a surface to put the deck of cards when you set it alight, that's all you need. Ideally though, with the surface, you need a flat surface, so when you put the deck of cards down, they don't move around anywhere, and then you put the things on top and go from there. So can it be inspected? Yes, it can. Once you've done all of the magic trick and that sort of thing, they have their chosen card, which they picked and the corner's been ripped off. The corner goes back together perfectly. They can keep that card and that can be inspected for whatever they want to look because there's nothing there for it. Is it a well-made magic trick? Yes. Obviously you make your own gimmicks once you've used the gimmicks in the pack, but they are really, really easy to use. And Cyrus was saying, all you have to do is get two decks of cards and you can make all your gimmicks just while you're watching TV and that sort of thing and just create them like that. So you can do it like that. You can get two decks of cards and obviously when you have 52 cards in each one, you end up with 52 gimmicks. Or you can do like what I've done is I've bought a one-way forcing deck. So all of the cards are the same in the deck. 
so I can make the gimmicks go that. So instead of having 52, I'll have like 26 gimmicks. That way using that forcing deck, you always know that if you're going to perform the trick, you force that specific card. So for example, if it was a 10 of diamonds, you know that if you're going to perform this trick, you can force the 10 of diamonds and that 10 of diamonds is going to be the end card, which is going to be the, the gimmick card. So what's the positives? Super visual really really visual and it seems like quite dangerous as well obviously you're using real life fire so it is dangerous and you don't want to burn yourself but the way you do it and things like that is there's no danger to yourself no danger to anyone else like i said it's just super visual when i saw it at blackpool and you set the card on fire hit the deck and that card just appears there with the corner ripped out it's just so so visual just really really impressive and again, the other positive, using fire, so it's always that added danger effect and it just makes that tricks feel so much better. Is there any negatives? Possibly if you're not used to creating gimmicks, there may be some issue with that, but it's really, really easy to create the gimmicks anyway, so you shouldn't struggle with it. And apart from that, there's not really any other negatives that I can think of off the top of my head. So once I bought the trick of Blackpool, had a quick watch of the instructions, went through the video, saw how to make the gimmicks, how to perform the trick and stuff like that. And then when I got home, I did a quick performance and it was really easy to set up, really easy to do everything. And like I said, all you have to do is force the card and the rest is pretty much straightforward. And like I said, really, really visual and just really impressive. The only other negative, which some people may find, is obviously you need to carry this bottle around with you and a lighter. So if it's not normally part of your everyday carry, then you need to add this in. Some people may be wary of carrying this on them, but it's in the bottle, so it's not going to leak anywhere. And it's not going to cause any issues at all. So conclusions on it, really, really good trick, really visual. And like I said, it's super easy to perform as well. All you have to do is force the card and you do it like that. And like I said, I've got a one-way forcing deck, so I'm going to be making up some gimmicks. So I've got plenty of gimmicks to use so I don't have to keep making them all of the time. Then all I can do is just put them in one separate deck, right in the bottom, say Phoenix, and then I know that those are the Phoenix gimmicks. So when I want to perform the trick, then I just go in there, grab those and do that. So when I was down Blackpool, Cyrus had another number of different tricks. One was Bluetooth and PPD and stuff like that. So he went through all of these and they're all really, really visual and really, really impressive. So hopefully get some of those in the near future and then do some more reviews on them. It'd be nice to showcase them on the channel and then if it suits your magic style or something that you would like to perform, then you'll be able to go on and buy it. Hope you liked the video and remember if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Give the video a like, leave a comment and until next time, see ya.